for another edition of Healthcare Highlights with Sydney Regional Medical Center. My name is Hunter Arterburn. and I'm alongside the Director of Surgery, Kim Brown. Kim, usually when I come into these rooms, I, well, I'm probably asleep at this point, aren't I? Or you're getting close to being put to sleep? Getting close to, put to being put to <laughs> sleep, correct. So this is a little bit different. I, you and I get to have a conversation in here. First off, t tell us about this room. What goes on in this room? Um, this is the operating room, the main operating room. You can see that we have monitors here around the room. Um, those are used when we do surgery. Sometimes we have a camera that puts images up on these monitors so the surgeons have uh, better visibility. And this is where all the operations happen. So as director of surgery, you find yourself in this spot a lot. Sometimes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of other hats that I wear. Uh, most of the time we have the circulating RNs as well as the scrub techs that are in here and they are actually doing the cases um, day after day, minute after minute, hour after hour. So I just kind of have a supervisory role but once in a while I find myself back in the room helping and that's where my passion truly is. Yeah, talk about your passion a little bit. You've been doing this for a number of years. Yes, I have and it's been my passion all along. I guess I'm kind of a, an adrenaline junkie. I kind of like to get in the skinny of things and see things and see the human anatomy and it's just very very interesting. How long have you been a nurse? I've been a nurse for 40 years. 40 years. Congratulations. Thank on that. you. Yeah. Still loving it since day one? Absolutely. So tell us a little bit. Uh, education's probably a little bit different in the last 40 years and all the advancements that we've seen whether it's with technology or, or the way you do the medical services. Tell us a bit about the schooling on your side. How, how, did that, how does it compare to today's? Well when I went to nursing school I got a diploma which was a three-year program and it had to do mostly with clinicals. We spent a lot of time in the clinical setting at the hospitals. I went to Denver for my pediatrics, I went to Denver for my psych, I spent six months over there with each program so we got a lot of clinical. Nowadays they don't get quite as much clinical, they get more of the bachelor of nursing type situation where they learn about administration, all of the things that um, probably were lacking in my program. However, I think the clinical component is still very important for nursing. Right, very good. And as a director of surgery, you talked about how you do a lot of managing and scheduling of, of your nurses and even scrub techs too. Tell me about that scrub tech position. What does a scrub tech do? The scrub tech is actually the person that is up at the field, the sterile field, and is actually handing the instruments to the surgeon when they're doing surgery. Um, some of their role does include, they have to retract, count sponges, they, they have a very, very vital role anytime we're doing surgery. They're responsible for keeping track of all the instruments just to ensure patient safety that we're not leaving anything behind. Um, it, it's, it's a really, really vital position and it's very important and at this point in time it's kind of hard to get scrub techs. Is it real? And why is that? Why is it so hard? Um, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know whether the visibility just isn't out there and people don't know about the position. But I think the more we put out there, the more they learn, the more they realize that it is a very important role for us at, at SRMC. If you want to get into the medical field and you want to kind of get, get I guess, in a way dirty, yeah. Scrub tech seems like to be the one. It, it truly is. And in fact, I know of some individuals that have worked in the CS department doing instruments and then they move up to the scrub tech role and then they go on to be an RN and work in the circulating role. So it is a good bridge, I guess you could say, to further education. I know you guys are looking for scrub techs here at Sydney Regional Medical Center as well. We'll get into that in just a moment, but first, tell me the education. What goes into the educational side to becoming a scrub tech? Most of their prerequisites have to do with math, science, that sort of background. And then most of the scrub tech schools nowadays are two-year programs. They get an associate degree and they become a certified scrub tech. They are required to take a test at the end of their two years. They go and sit for it and take the test, and if they pass that, then they're classified as certified scrub techs. Kim, let's talk about how people can become a scrub tech at Sydney Regional Medical Center. How can they go about doing that? Well, one of the easiest ways, I think, is to notify WNCC. That is one of the schools that does offer a scrub tech program. I think if you would contact WNCC, if you have any interest at all, that would be the way to go. Very good. And I imagine if you guys are looking for scrub techs right now, people just need to maybe go onto the website and apply or, or contact Absolutely. the hospital. Absolutely. And you're looking for them. Yes. You need them. Yes. Very good. We do. Scrub techs at SRMC. And you can visit their website, sydneyrmc.com. 
for more information. Kim Brown, the Director of Surgery. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. And that is another edition of Healthcare Highlights with Sydney Regional Medical Center.